All right, to install the Windows Admin Center on a server running server core, uh, the first thing we want to do is to into a remote session to that server. So here I'm remoting into WAC01. And the cred variable, I've already got the credentials stored there. And just to demonstrate to you that this is actually a server running server core, we'll use the get computer info commandlet to demonstrate that server core. And so the next thing we need to do, download the MSI from Microsoft. So there's the path we want to put it in right into the downloads folder. And here's the, the link to it. I got that straight from the docs. I've got comments on line one. So I'll use invoke web request to get that downloaded. And it's a fairly small download, so it shouldn't take too long. So the next thing we gotta decide is what port we wanna use. I'm sticking just the default of 443. I just keep it simple for the demo. And then if we want the installer to generate its own self-signed certificate, this is the syntax of the last property there as a self certificate option I've set to generate. If you're gonna use one that you already have, Here's the syntax on line 24, set that to installed, and then set SME thumbprint to be the certificate's thumbprint. But here we go ahead and run the MSI exec command to install that. So the server will reboot after Windows Admin Center installs. So I've got a little loop here, and this will just run until it reboots, in which case it'll throw an error and just let me know that it's been rebooted. I do this because it may take a couple of minutes for it to finish the install. All right, so there we go, we got the error. And in this case, I know that error means that the, the PowerShell session was just closed because it was rebooting. So the next thing we can do to verify that that install went properly is we switch over uh, to our browser and we browse to it. So I'm using HTTPS because I'm using port 443. Obviously, you want to specify the port if it's a non-standard port. And again, mine was self-signed, so it's giving me this trusted warning on the certificate. I'm going to go ahead and proceed anyway. And there we go. You can see that I've got Windows Admin Center installed on my server running server core. Thanks for watching.